everybody, welcome back to my channel, Amanda Isabel Z. Make sure you give a big thumbs up. Make sure if your subscription button is red, make sure to hit it. And also make sure your notifications are turned on. So today I will be teaching you how to do a handstand part one. I will do another part uh, like probably tomorrow. So yeah, let's get started. So first what you need to know for a handstand is you will need to know a lever and a rocking horse handstand. But I will teach you the rocking horse handstand today. You will need to be able to do a le lever, no, lever, in order to do it. Handstand. So let's get started. So this is a rocking horse handstand. You simply do a le lever and kick your foot up a bit, just like this. I'll do it again. That is a rocking horse handstand, so you will need to keep practicing that and like get the hang of it. That way you aren't too scared to go for your handstand. Now, next, you will need to know, like, Actually, I don't know, but you will need to have a spotter if you aren't too good at your rocking horse handstand yet. So now we're just gonna kick up a bit higher, except put your legs together as well, like this. You will not go all the way up, but you're gonna go partially up, like this. You're gonna put your leg here and just kick up and touch each other. So your feet should touch each other, but your legs will only be about this high from the ground, not too high. Okay, now you're just gonna keep working on it to go higher, like this. And the more high you go, the more better. And try to kick up super high. So, um, also, there's a little something that I'll show you. My trampoline. And if you have a trampoline, that will really help to practice. Or, like, a super soft mat. Because some people, like beginners, kick up into their handstand and then go straight onto their back. And that is called a handstand flat back, and it really hurts your back if you fall onto the ground. So if you're on the trampoline, you would want to do this. Hold on, let me hang you up. Okay. All you will do is just do a handstand and they'll then fall straight on your back. So technically just kick up a lot. All right, you guys, I'm gonna hang you up somewhere else. It's a bit like higher so you can see me a bit better. Okay. You might be able to see me better if I do this. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Aim it a bit more down, and there we go. Okay, so now you're just gonna keep practicing in your handstand flat back. So um, once you get your handstand flat back very good, um, try not to kick up as much and try to just do this. So now that you know how much pressure you have to put into a handstand flat back to fall over, just put a bit less pressure than that and you should be able to go into a straight handstand.
and then keep practicing that on the floor, except without landing on your back. And you should have your handstand super soon. Bye.